Uh, Dom Rosso, uh, NRA commentator and uh, gear testing for Life of Duty. Um, so tell us about how you got involved with the NRA. Yeah, you were, you didn't, like uh, the other two, Natalie Foster and Mr. Collion, you are, they were already bloggers, vloggers, right. advocates, and then no one really knew about you. Right, so I'm way behind the power curve as far as if I compare myself to them, so I can't compare myself to them. Uh, they've got a really good uh, network presence, and for me, it was getting out of the military, you know, guys and politicians attacking the Second Amendment and kind of our rights. So one of the things that forced me to do is go up to the NRA, and, and I've known people in the NRA, they've been nothing but supportive to our community, and I said, how can I help you guys? Because I had nothing else to do, you know, as far as, you know, going out and fighting a war now, so I got to find, you know, a way to put my energy somewhere else. And, this was just a perfect way and things just lined up. They told me about Natalie, they told me about Coleone, and I was following Coleone for a while and I uh, just said this seemed like the perfect thing to do, the perfect team to get together and kind of help educate people that don't know what's going on with politics. Well, military experience, you mentioned that, yep. and how kind of that fits in with the wider kind of pool. So 12 years experience uh, in combat, you know, steady combat. I, I never took a break and transitioned right into civilian life. and. You know, the reason why I think that's applicable to what's going on today is the fact that we've seen things overseas and had the broader picture of how politics intertwine with what we're doing and how we apply it overseas. And I think it's kind of the same mindset here and how politicians can be affecting things of how you operate, basically how we operate, but how we function as a society as well. And I saw that kind of being threatened and I was just kind of like, you know, this is a good way to apply my skills to a subject today so have you been following what's been going on in uh, Congress as far as the legislation the mansion to me expanded background check um, of course your thoughts on that defeated that well the first thing I say and, and this is my instinct driving me to say this is the fact that people got behind an agenda which seemed to make sense background checks banning the type of weapons that were used in the Newtown shooting without really being educated and the one thing that I try to connect, and, and I'm just, I'm in disbelief about why there's such a big disconnect, is the fact that you've got people saying, yes, go forth with the background checks, ban these guns, but yet what actually happened that day and what has happened in, in past with mass shootings is that none of these rules and none of this legislation that would be pushed through would actually have prevented any of this from happening. So to create new laws on top of something that, you know, when, uh, the guy went into Newtown, he broke every law in the book. What he did was against the law. I mean, what, why aren't we starting there? He broke, every, he broke the law. So how is creating new laws going to prevent something like that? And it's not, it's not going to. So that's the common sense piece I think a lot of people are missing. So if you look at the new legislation, you look at the new things they're trying to pass, I just don't think they're going to do anything but uh, complicate. Yeah, anything you want to add? Yeah, you, anything? you can talk about whatever. So one of the things, obviously, that I'm starting to do and I'm, I'm really passionate about something I've done my whole career, and that's do kind of research, development, test, and evaluation and design with uh, the command that I was at previously. And I think that's something that I'm always going to continue to do. And l luckily, Life of Duty has been uh, on the path of starting to do things like that where they are doing gear reviews, they are getting the operator's perspective. So if you kind of create this coalition of people that are out in the industry, uh, law enforcement, government, military, and you start getting uh, everybody's heads wrapped around, you know, a piece of gear and how to, what the review comes of it, not just some guy that's kind of, you know, sitting in his garage that thinks this is good, but right. real, real views on a product of how it's going to be applied to their job. Uh, we're just going to try to get creative on how we start doing that. And I think we're going to see some pretty cool stuff from Life of Duty. What's your, uh, what's your everyday carry? Uh, PPS. <coughs> yeah, thank you very much. I appreciate yeah, you talking to us. Cool. Thanks, fellas. Yeah, awesome. Appreciate it.